Hello everyone and welcome back to the latest update from your hairy godmother, your less hairy godmother. Today I am going to be heading into a three hour electrolysis appointment and I believe that this is probably going to be one of the last lengthy appointments that I will need to go to. There has been so much progress made on my face. Um, there is still hair that exists because that's just part of the process. But the severity of the hair I've noticed, especially the last two times I've gone in, there is so much less hair growing in that I really think I'm on the cusp of only needing much smaller appointments. And then gradually the goal is to get to the point of only needing upkeep or touch-ups when there's maybe one or two or a half dozen hairs that come back or that still exists until I get to the permanent status. So after today, I will be at 153 hours of electrolysis that I've gotten since April 1st, 2021. And I am going to bring you into my appointment today and just give you a little bit of footage as best as I can. It's kind of awkward to selfie film myself while I'm getting my electrolysis done because I have to have my head at weird angles and my neck is at weird angles, but I'm going to try my best. I've gotten requests for more footage and um, so I'm going to do that today. First, I'm going to show you what my hair looks like right now before I go in. Then I'll bring you into my appointment with me and then when I get home, just like in my prior video, I'll show you an up close of my skin immediately after the treatment so that you can see how much progress has been made. So to start, here is a general little vision of the hair that you honestly really can't see. I have maybe two hairs left on this cheek. Hardly any there. Hardly any on my chin. My mustache, I have a few fine ones coming in because I use numbing cream that really helps and she's starting to make more progress on my stash. And then under here is where the most of the exist of the uh, remaining hair is. But either way, that is so so improved compared to what it used to look like. So Let's go head into my appointment. Okay, I'm at my appointment now and I'm gonna put my head back so that she can start under my beast zone under my neck. And we'll just get a close up of some of the hairs coming out today. It is now actually the following morning. By the time I got back from my late afternoon appointment yesterday, had dinner, wound down, read a little bit. I was very, very exhausted from A, being 26 weeks pregnant, B, these longer sessions are, they're very exhausting. So anyways, went to bed, did my skincare before bed, of course, but now here I am the next morning. My face is cleansed. I have moisturizer and skin healing ointment on. So I'm a little snaily, 
but here's the progress, the immense progress that she was able to make yesterday. So whole entire cheek, entire front of my chin, whole entire other cheek, and my whole entire neck beast zone. Any redness that you see is just irritation from the treatment, but for me that fades within a few days. So this was a huge uh, milestone appointment for me, I want to say, because yesterday put me at 153 hours of electrolysis that I've gotten since April 1st, 2021. But this is the first time that she has ever been able to completely clear everything. And she got to that point at like two hours and 40 minutes in. We spent the last 20 minutes she kind of did a once over and took out any little fine, hard, long hairs um, or any other little dark hairs here or there that she may have missed. And then she just barely started going up into my mustache. So that is um, the first time that that has ever happened. You've seen in all my other videos, especially my super early videos back when I started in 2021, when I used to go for four hour sessions once a week, this is the amount of hair that would get cleared. And now it's a full clear out in a three hour session. So that just goes to show the progress in addition to just the undeniable progress that you've seen from all of my videos up until now. So I'm very excited. I'm very proud. I'm very happy that it's gotten to this point. I'm not done, but it's, I'm getting very, very, very close to, like I said in the beginning of this video, just kind of going back in for shorter sessions and then just maintenance here or there as needed if new hairs come in. So we've basically tackled everything all together except for my mustache and a little soul patch underneath my bottom lip. But I am very happy it was a very exciting um moment knowing that everything got cleared that's it it was just it was exciting and it goes to show the progress and i'm looking forward to just seeing what things look like now that it's been fully treated um i'm not done but there's going to be so much less hair that continues to grow and any hair that does come in it's either new hairs that were buried under the surface of the skin coming in through a new phase of growth that were not exposed through the surface of the skin yesterday when she did the treatment, or it is hairs that have been treated before, but they were not treated during the active growth stage. So that's something else I would recommend when you do do your research, if you're gonna get electrolysis, is knowing it's not a once and done thing, but also that all the hairs on our body grow in phases. So when it comes to electrolysis, the hairs that don't ever come back upon getting treated are the hairs that are currently in the active growth stage. And unfortunately, you can't really identify that from the outside surface level of the skin. It's once they go in and zap it and it, it, it loosely extracts because it's fully killed, you can look at the bottom of the hair and see a huge black bulb and a juicy white inner root sheath. <laughs> it's a hideous sentence. I think I heard that one come out. But it's very satisfying and that is how you can tell that hair was in the active growth stage and it got fully killed and it is not gonna come back. And if there's other hairs that they take out, and it just looks like a basic hair or the end is kind of a golf club. Those are different stages. And it's not that it wasn't worth the time, but it just means that there is already a new hair deep down under the surface that is starting to grow. So that is why it takes time and it just takes immense patience and it takes consistency. But I'm gonna keep taking you with me along the whole entire journey as I have been from the beginning. 
Please share, please subscribe, please know that I am supporting you. Please send this to anyone that you know that struggles with facial hair, regardless of having PCOS. It doesn't matter if you have hair on your face or anywhere on your body, electrolysis can and will work for you. You just have to do your research so that you can let it work for you and you can give yourself the time that it takes to get these results. So thank you for tuning in and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.